I think this is a really excellent occasion where we come together as a community to honour a person who grew up in our valley and became one of the top four jockeys in the world. Yeah. And uh, I don't think a lot of people know that George Moore came from the Pioneer Valley. And until Paul came in and sat in my office and started to tell me the story, I didn't know either. And then I talked to a few of the younger members of our corporate communications team and they said, who's George Moore? <laughs> and so, you know, that, that sort of inflames the need to tell a story. To tell a story about a, uh, a Pioneer Valley resident who delivered the Daily Mercury on horseback at the age of 12 and 13. Tell that story of how George grew up in Pinnacle, left Mackay, sure, at the age of 14 or 15, I think it was, Terry, and uh, enhanced his career in, uh, in turf, in racing, uh, moving to Brisbane, and then, of course, the, the world was his oyster. doing what you did. Thank you to the Turf Club then for allowing this memento to be uh, to be hung out here so that everybody can actually see that one of the world's most famous jockeys came from our valley. And uh, that's going to be enshrined here now forever. Thank you to Paul. Thank you to the club. Correspondence from um, the Moore family that I'd like to read out. And, uh, and this says that on behalf of the entire Moore family, I'd like to take this opportunity, thank the Moore Regional Council for its decision to acknowledge Dan's achievement in a special way. I know my mother who passed away only recently would join me in expressing those thoughts, she would, should she still be with us. The fact the handover of a commemorative certificate coincides with the day of the Kaidari is fitting and a great gesture behind the presentation. Finest traditions of racing dictate the Derby is the most important event on the calendar. Some of Dad's proudest moments were associated with his victories in this race. <laughs>